Hi everyone, so today we will see how do we add a Palo Alto firewall in EVNG. Here is the EVNG guide to add the Palo Alto VM as a QCOW image. So uh, here are some steps we will be following going forward. So let me just log in into my Eve ng so here it is started this is the machine on vmware and this is the ip for me and the credentials for root uh, to ssh and uh, to log in into this uh, console of vmware it's root and password is eve and this will be similar for you also let's go to browser Eve ng your gui Username will be admin and the password will be EVE. I am selecting HTML console. Let me add a new lab here. Here you can see in the nodes, we don't have anything with the name Palo Alto here. So let's start to add the firewall. So what are the steps here? Uh, we must have the image and then we will follow further steps. So I will be providing you the QCOW image, QCOW2 image in in this video's description so you can download the image from there i have uh, i have the image with me already so i will now go to venus cp and this is my old session i guess yes and new my credentials are already saved so you will use your evng ip address and root will be the user it will ask for password give eve okay so what should be the path it is telling to make a directory which is already is with me on my uh evng slash opt slash unit lab slash add-on slash chemo so here we have and then we will have to create a folder for image to place not the file directory so the image which i have is 10.0.0 so I am creating these this folder so i'm creating this folder with this name so the name should be similar this is required let me go to my local drive here is the image let me drag and drop into this folder so the transfer will take time as the file is large let me tell you why this name is here it is very important to this qcow2 image uh, to be with this name because you will get uh, different vm images from different sources and here the name is the name is uh, like pavm kvm so this must be changed i will i will show you how do we do this so the file transfer has been completed and here you can see this is the image what i have just transferred into my evng now what is the next step uh, you need to ssh into your Evng. This is the IP address, and uh, 
the credentials are saved for me so password is eve here we have and uh, what is the path cd So our image is 10.2.0. Enter ls. Here you can see the image is already here in the EVNG. And the next step is to rename the QCOW image to this name, which in my case, is already modified so if you get any image from other source and uh, you see some different names so this is really required to you to change the name with this name and to change uh, this will be the command i will provide the link to this article in this video's description so these steps will be provided to you So the name is already uh, converted for me. Now we need to fix the permission. This is really required. CD. Looks like it is done. Let's go to GUI, refresh the page node let's see if we are seeing any palo alto device yes we have here let's add it start you can see it is started here is the html console for our newly installed Palo Alto firewall so this process will take some time and then you will get a login prompt in which you have to provide admin admin credentials let me tell you one thing uh, when you will put your credentials into your login screen sometimes it will not take and it will show you that the credentials are incorrect but what the reality is in the background there are some process running and that's why the firewall don't let you log in so just wait for five to ten minutes and uh, then try again with admin admin credentials and you will be able to log in into your firewall See, we have got the login screen, but I am sure that in first time, I will not be able to log in with my credentials. See, this is showing you login incorrect. So just do one thing, wait for five to 10 minutes and let, let this firewall complete it, its uh, process in the background and then try the credential. I'm sure you will be able to log in so in next video we will see how do we configure the management interface and how do we take the gui access of this firewall and uh, some basic configuration with uh, some devices connected to this firewall thank you very much mm -hmm.